Yep, we're going to move on now. So recently, we have done some uh, lists on MCU phases. We keep talking about the MCU. Yep. Um, first, first two phases up on uh, moviegrounds.com. If you want to go check them out. Yep. So basically what we do is we uh, note down our favorite films from each uh, phase, and then we just kind of put it into a calculated list, and then, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, but with, you know, the MCU kind of, all tits up right now. Um, <laughs> we thought, you know, Love let's just phrase. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> let's just uh, see how all the phases have gone. Obviously, phase four we will cover later on. Yeah, well, yeah. so phase four surely deserves its own like little podcast special. Oh, I could talk about that. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, but I could for a while. But yeah, anyway, our list for phase one, our number one, our highest was Coll- the collectively, Avengers. Collectively, collectively, yep. yep. Was The Avengers, second, Iron Man, third, Captain America, the first Avenger, four, Thor, five, The Incredible Hulk, six, Iron Man 2. You're laughing because Thor and four (laughs) rhymed. Yeah, 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 I was like trying to space it out um, so it didn't like rhyme too much. Um, But yeah, no, so obviously Iron Man 2 is last. Yeah. Um, and the Avengers is first. What do you what do you think about this list? Is it a good representation of what this one really I is? I think it is. Yeah. I think it now like we all we you and I both agreed on the last and the first. hundred mm. percent. Even yeah. even second with it being Iron Man. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was just more the middle categories. But yeah. I I think me personally, um, I think we know this list fine. Like it was good. Like yeah. Iron Man 2 is by far the worst. Um the Incredible Hulk is pretty much like the forgotten one where people don't think about it that often. Yeah, yeah. So that's automatically second to last. And then you obviously have Thor and Captain America as the middles. And then mm. Iron Man, it, it started started this whole superhero fatigue. Yeah. It's going to kick in soon. Started it. Yeah. Started it all. And then, <laughs> yeah. and then obviously, like, you know, that, that five-year sort of <clears throat> build up towards mm. the Avengers. Yeah. Um, everyone questioning whether, like, work. like, it could work, like having a team of, of Superheroes and them just absolutely nailing it. Yeah. In terms of scale back in 2011 days, you mm. know? I That's mean, crazy, if, yeah. It? And then obviously, fast forward to the future, you get in game. It's just like, wow, fuck. It is, yeah. It's pretty, yeah. pretty mind blowing how it's like blown up. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and I think Loki was a perfect villain. Yeah. For, for the Avengers. Yeah. Especially yeah. for the first one, the little team of mm-hmm. it. Yeah. He, he was really good. Yeah. Yeah. When I went through this list, I, I was like, wow, there are like, only really two movies that I actually like the Avengers and Iron Man. I don't like yeah. Thor one. I don't like Captain America one. I don't like Incredible Hulk. I don't like Iron Man two. Like Cap one, Thor one, and Hulk. I think they're fine. They're watchable, but they're not like, I don't think they're good. Like, groundbreaking. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing special about it. I'm like, this is quite a weak phase. Um, the Avengers, like you said, like everyone was questioning whether it could work, and it really did work. I think Joss Whedon did a really good job with that. And Iron Man starting it all. Um, yeah. So I was quite surprised about yeah, just how weak it was. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I think phase three is the peak. Yeah. So that's because where everything started to come together. Yeah. Yeah. But our phase two list now. Um, so our first one for phase two was Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Second, Guardians of the Galaxy. Third, Avengers Age of Ultron. Four, Iron Man 3. Five, Ant-Man. And six, Thor The Dark World. So, yeah. Mm. What do you think about this one? I think it's very accurate. Hands down, Thor The Dark World is the worst MCU film. No, it's not. Thor Love and Thunder is... (laughs) Okay. Okay. Probably. <laughs> it's, all, it's Thor. It's, it's, it's just, always it's, Thor. It's the Thor curse, but yeah. <laughs> In this phase, it's hands down that Thor, and it should be rotten. I don't know how it's not rotten. Yeah. That that surprises me. Like, it should be, like, down on, like, Suicide Squad 2016 and Batman vs. Batman v Superman sort of mm. levels. Yeah. Um, But everything else above that, like, Guardians, Fantastic, considering that yeah. it's like a C list. It's not even B list or A list. It's, yeah. it's a C list sort of superhero mm. team, and 
And now they, they're A-listers. Yeah, now, yeah. now they're A-listers. I mean, we're getting games for it now. We're getting yeah. spin-off specials, mm. three tri- uh, three films following this as well. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. So kudos to James Gunn and them for realizing that talent mm. and whatnot. Um, and Captain America, Winter Soldier, that's that was just great for that time. You know, like it, it's it was one of the best. Yeah, yeah it was, MCUs. it was dark. It was gritty. Yeah. It, it shied away from the MCU formula of like humor and whatnot. Like it still had humor, but not constant. It was <laughs> more set into realism. It had yeah. higher stakes with, um, yeah. shield and Hydra. And yeah. then that, that tension between, um, Steve Rogers and him finding out that Bucky is alive, but he's bad in term. Yeah. In the winter soldier as well. Yeah. Yeah. No, you you covered it off perfectly there. Captain America, Winter Soldier, Guns of the Galaxy, both great movies. Um, definitely uh, in the top tier of the yeah. MCU. Um, besides that, the middle players like Ant Man, Age of Ultron, Iron Man Three, Thor: The Dark World. Again, they're not movies that are that great. Like they're they're much more enjoyable. Ant Man, Age of Ultron, and Iron Man Three are enjoyable movies. Um, but they're they're nothing to like. They're not great or amazing. Yeah, and, and yeah, Thor, Thor, The Dark World is truly, truly bad. Yeah. It's not, it's not worse than Love and Thunder because I think Thor, The Dark World is competently made. It's just boring as yeah. hell. Love and Thunder is just atrociously <laughs> bad and extremely unfunny. Um, <laughs> Spoil that for Phase 4. <laughs> fuck Phase 4. Um, we're not going to cover that one because I'll walk off in anger. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it was a, it's a good phase. I think it's where MCU really starts to find itself and understand its identity. Um, and obviously phase three is where they kind of hit all cylinders. So it's yeah. a, it's a good phase for like Marvel to really move forward through. Phase two was really where they started to introduce Thanos into the bigger picture and yeah. This, this is the threat that we're up against now. They start to really understand what <laughs> they could do with their whole universe. Yeah. yeah. No, nah, a- absolutely. 